piscine. Là, j'ai vu un gars harceler une femme ivre. Oui, oui, c'est celui-là. Yeah. What are you talking about? Can you speak in English, please? Huh? Okay, sir. You are arrested for sexual harassment. We're going to bring you to a police station. Wait, 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 wait. What did you say? Wait, sir. Are you kidding me? You said it. Hey, I'm a guy. You're not a Chinese person. You can't tell me what you're saying. You don't know what a lie is. 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 你知道什么叫自尊自爱，什么叫礼义廉耻吗？我告诉你，我亲眼目睹了整个过程，我只相信眼见为实。我跟你说，就中国人脸，我跟你说，臭流氓。这是事故，真正的故事应该是这样的。在这个世界上，让人不能自拔的，除了牙齿，就是爱情。我是陈浩，我有两份截然不同的职业：金牌牙医和恋爱顾问。从前车马很慢，书信很慢，一生只够爱一个人。如今飞机、高铁，一日三程，微信、邮件、光速回复，一次爱一个人，就叫忠诚。若是老司机也好，情场高手也罢，总之我这儿再不可能的两个人，也能转角遇到爱。人们都说，条条大路通罗马。有的人出身就在罗马。我是罗月，五星级酒店大堂经理的候选人。五年前，我只身一人来到比利时，长着一张中国人的脸，操着一口不甚流利的 English， 想要融入另一个国度、另一种文化，是要付出代价的。从前车马很慢，书信很慢，漂洋过海到大洋彼岸，实属光宗耀祖。如今，广告牌倒下，砸死的都是海龟。就算我努力工作、学习，生活充实，但在父母和亲戚眼中，我不过是个不结婚的神经病。人们都说爱情要讲缘分，但不是所有的缘分都是天赐良缘，还有一种叫做造化弄人，在劫难逃。二零一七年五月十六日，这一天我将要参加人生中的第十八场婚礼。这一天是我职业生涯中最重要的一次考核，享受我职业生涯中最美好的时刻，但是却被一个没素质的祖国同胞。搞砸了。
陈浩，大爷的，你怎么才来呀、啊？婚礼已经结束了，慌什么呀？新郎是你又不是我，我来晚了不耽误事儿。快快快快！阿普 party 已经开始了，我一直都按着不让开始，就为等你。别老说这些。哎，你怎么回事啊？陈浩，几点了才来呀、啊？不晚，一点都不晚。先过去吧。这是谁呀、啊？为什么时候给我介绍？我不来你这婚还不结了？嗯，邀功是不是？知道没有你，我这婚结不成，我不会亏待你的。<笑>去吧，各位朋友，大家下午好。啊<笑>、呃，我是新郎王宁最好的哥们儿程浩。首先欢迎大家不远万里来到这儿参加我好兄弟的婚礼。其实呢，我是一直不太理解。为什么有那么多人有勇气走进婚姻？直到有一天，有一天王宁给我打电话的时候，说他要求婚了。那时候我正好在我的舒克诊所给一位病人矫正牙齿。当我给那位病人套上牙箍的时候，我突然间明白了，其实这男人和女人呢，就像是人的上牙和下牙，虽然注定要共生，却未必那么契合。而婚姻呢？就像是这个矫正器，虽然看似给对方套上了一个箍，过程当中还要经历痛苦，可是双方两者一定会完美的走在一起。就像王宁和珊珊这样，既愿意经历痛苦，又愿意许下诺言，我真的是发自内心的钦佩。但是我相信很多人都能做到，就像他们一样。所以今天让我们一起来祝福他们，也祝愿在场的各位，能够早日戴上牙箍。Mr. Wong, uh, I really do apologize that your two bottles of champagne were so carelessly destroyed by one of our employees. Uh, I'm sorry. This is my fault. Uh, now, Mr. Wong, here at the SciTech Hotel, we have decided to compensate you with two of our very finest red wines from our personal reserve for your pink liquor that was destroyed. We will also compensate you for the two bottles of champagne that were destroyed. We hope you'll be amenable to this arrangement. You're Chinese. Oh, yes. Very sorry, Wang Xinsheng. It's my fault. It's my fault. I didn't bring you the wine. Okay. Today is my birthday. But I said Chinese people don't hurt Chinese people. Let's do what he said. Thank you, Wang Xinsheng. Thank you, Mr. Wang. Thank you very much. Uh, Anastasia, come take these two bottles of wine here to Mr. Wong's room. And be quick about it. Go faster. Look, Lori, planning on next week making the announcement that you're going to be our new lobby manager. But from here on out, no more blunders, no more mistakes. You understand? Okay, I'm waiting to take the responsibility for that. Now, these two bottles of wine, I'm going to have the hotel compensate Mr. Wong, but that gold foil wine that you destroyed, you're going to have to compensate Mr. Wong out of your own pocket. Okay. <sighs> Lori, 
I don't know how to say this. Look, you're Chinese, okay? So deciding to make you the new lobby manager was not the easiest decision I've ever had to make. Don't let me down. Go. Get back to work. Go.脉脉成了，人情散。回国以后啊，咱们就正式散伙了。不是吧，成哥？你刚才在舞台上说的那么情真意切，你真的能翻脸不认人？我刚才台上说的，那是我整套服务的最后一个流程。不是你不会真看上我了吧？我告诉你，这点钱可是买不来哥们儿。成浩。我们俩认识也就半年功夫，但是我已经看透了，你，程浩不是一个认钱的主。我知道，你那都是生意，你老拿钱说事儿，跟客户划清界限，其实是怕自己走心。那你也想多了，我还真没那么多心能走，真的。得。那今天就为了庆祝，我们俩正式散伙。好、啊，得嘞。怎么着？又完成一单？嗯？可我怎么就乐不起来呢？很正常啊。每次你完成一单以后，你都很失落嘛。也是，铁打了程浩，嗯，刘叔，哥们儿，是这意思。哎哎哎，怎么说话呢？哥们儿很结实啊，洪水都冲不着我，那是，海啸都冲不着你。来来来来来。来来来来来来哎，对了，豪哥，豪哥，你知道你那种人叫什么？张明阳、啊嗯，你呀、啊、也太没下限了吧？怎么了？你比我大三岁，一口一浩哥，您这褶子不嫌抻得慌？哎，讨厌，不许插我台啊！哥们在泳池旁边秀俩蜜，都是九零后，代沟不能太大，滚一边去！哦，对了，说正经的，你知道像你这种。有两种职业的人叫什么？有一个特别流行的词儿叫 “slash”， 斜杠青年，什么意思啊？那你打比方吧，你的显性职业是金牌牙医，隐性职业，宝梅拉纤。什么宝梅拉纤儿？我这是恋爱顾问。是是是是，不管是什么，反正就是因为有像你这样越来越多的不满足一个职业的人。开始身兼数职了，所以呢，你们的 title 必须要有更多的斜杠来展示。Slash，Slash，、嗯、Slash, 这词儿不错，生动。嗯，闭嘴，很生动。嗯，老师，指点一下迷津，你两个，哪个适合我？哪两个？那先说穿花裙的那个吧。嗯，你先告诉我，你对她印象如何？漂亮，皮肤也不错，身材凹凸有致，嗯，有说有笑的，应该比较容易上手。说完了，这还不够吗？那我告诉你啊，你看到的全是表面。仔细看啊。这姑娘，啊，今天晚上的妆化的很简单，口红全都留在杯子上了，但是却没去补妆，这说明她平常不常化妆。再看她的手指甲，没有做美甲，既整洁又干净
，而且手里边始终握着手机，一来信息第一时间就读取，这说明人家很有可能已经有男朋友了，或者说啊，有社交恐惧症，无法真正融入这个环境。如果没判断错的话，这姑娘应该是那种非常内敛、规规矩矩，一旦喜欢上一个人，就一定会非常认真执着。不是你要跑那种，嗯，长知识了。那那个呢？穿黑裙的那个呢 ？Nobody from now should leave for tonight. Everyone must focus attention on the pool. We don't want any drunks pass out. I don't want to take any single complaint tomorrow morning. Okay? Don't worry, Luo. As long as you get through this, next week we will all be calling you Manager Luo. Fingers crossed. 虽然看似穿着一不出错的小黑裙儿，嗯，但这浑身上下的配饰确实心机的闪耀，话不多，可是行为很有存在感。你看，张罗着大家自拍，给别人拿酒，就差满场去晃悠，高呼“都看我，都看我”。在这种场合里头，得自拍者得天下，照片拍回去，把自个儿。P 的漂漂亮亮的，朋友圈一发，你说今儿晚上谁最闪亮？而鉴于你的一贯表现，当然是黑裙子对你更有挑战。靠谱。哎哎哎，嗯，老话说送佛送到西，嗯，我就再多说两句。好，你待会儿过去啊，直接奔那穿花裙子。你要让在场的人都感觉到，你是主动奔着他去的，今晚上就差不多了。声东击西是吗？你想想，一个在朋友圈都要最闪耀的人，他怎么能受得了现场的冷落呢？啊，你这样主动去找花裙子姑娘多说话，你才能够激发那黑裙子姑娘的好胜心，她就会反过头来主动对你。Surveillance footage for evidence. It's okay. Let's go back. Thank you for your work. Oh boy, they're sure having a good time by the pool. <laughs> oh shit. 
I'm sure. Are you a hundred percent sure? I'm very, very, very sure. Oh, so what, what happened? I saw that guy uh, trying to take advantage of that girl. Oh. So. So that's why you hit him? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so your signature, please. Okay. Seriously, sir, I'm not a bad guy.我说姑娘 现在又想往自己同胞身上泼脏水。也不看看你那样，不用我泼你就够脏的了。哎，哪个正经人的大半夜的会在大厅广中之下跟那种事儿啊？我跟你说了，你你什么你啊？啊，行行，来来来来，我
丞相也不能赖别人不把你当好人。嘿，嘿，你等会儿，你这人怎么回事啊？啊，说话都横着蹦啊？不是，那你那你说该怎么办？我正式给你道个歉。打住，如果刚才在里边。跟我好好说，跟我道歉，我接受。现在晚了，这事儿咱没完。这样吧，咱们先去医院。嗯，啊，我去做个外伤鉴定，咱们完事儿再说。嗯，啊，哎，等着，啊，哎，我说，你就这么放过他吧？怎么可能、啊？就是啊。别看这丫头嘴硬，咱俩人呢，咱怕她。我告诉你啊，就这种女的，典型的是一直在欧洲待时间太长了，没亲人，没朋友，没男人，就是一毒河豚，逮谁伤谁，炸刺儿。嗯，所以对付这种女人啊，不能从正面进攻，得出其不意。没错，上车。配备可以啊。Hi, um, Mr. Chung. We received your letter of complaint and your medical report. We've come to offer an apology. 别见面了。Mr. Chung, at our morning meeting, we had a very thorough discussion about last night's unfortunate events. Sorry, Chen Xiangshen, because of my mistake, I had a very unpleasant experience. Hmm. I want to see this unpleasant face. Is this a apology? 他他他他，你干什么呀？这是，陈先生，我这样的诚意够了吗？打住！您幸亏没带一花圈来，否则我这一大早上呢，我就让人给上了挽联了。你们这，你也不懂我们中国这套，重来。Mr. Chung, you know, here at SciTech Hotel, we would like to treat you to an all-expenses-paid trip to Antwerp. Yes, we'll uh, we'll provide you with uh, your own limousine and your own driver, and we hope in this way that we can put this whole unfortunate business behind us. Uh. Mm. Mm. Oh, 对了，我听不懂英文。
给我翻译翻译。我们经理说，因为我们的失误，给您带来了不便。接下来您所有的游览费用都由我们承担，您想去哪儿就去哪儿。哦，这样啊，哎，这不错。哎呀，可是我不会说法语，英语也不灵，这出去跟人也没法交流，这怎么出去玩呢？你是不是可以给我们配一个导游，再加上个翻译呀、啊？再给你配个人间大炮，送你上天得了。行，姑娘。<笑>行，丫头啊。这两天跟你接触，我也发现了啊。不过英语不错，法语不错，中文的造诣也不错。那就你了。翻译啊。Chung, thank you very, very much. See you. Ah, have fun in Antwerp. Bye bye. Bye bye. 'Mr. Simon, I would like to ask for someone else to do this guided tour. What? Can you think of anybody more suitable than yourself? I think. No, no, no. You think too much, okay? Everybody here at SciTech Hotel has their own responsibilities. This is your problem. You solve it. Yes, that is my responsibility. But you see, the guest obviously has an opinion on me, and I'm worried he'll give me a hard time again. Yeah, yeah. You know why he has an opinion of you? Probably because you landed him in jail. Okay. Now, look. If you're just attentive in your service, if you're sweet to him, he's not going to laugh in your face. But you need to take responsibility for this. You need to change your mindset, and I don't know, try to be a better person. Okay. Oh, and you know what? I'll tell you another thing too. SciTech Hotel resolves itself of all responsibility from your little accident. SciTech Hotel resolves itself of all responsibility and expenses. You're going to have to pay the cost for the repairs, and. You need to repair with Mr. Chung. You don't want this to affect any opportunity that you have at advancement, do you? Think about it. Okay. Hello, 小姐啊。哟，这车可真够大的啊！来，给你介绍一下，哎，我哥们儿张明阳，悠悠，你好，哎，我知道，这不是那个河豚小妞吗？河豚，你好，对，咱俩熟吗？给别人取外号，这是小学生干的事儿吧？真够刺儿的，哎，那您倒是自我介绍一下，怎么称呼？天快黑了，上车吧。天快黑了，赶紧上车吧。他这名字怎么这么长啊？嗯，哎，我说，你这榜一火药桶没有，你怎么这么爱挑战呀、啊？那就看谁贬谁呗。我告诉你，我这人啊，最看不惯的就是中国人到了国外难为同胞的做法。嗯，这不是给祖国脸上抹黑吗？所以说呀，这种素质的人，咱们有义务制止他，否则以后得祸害多少无辜群众啊，是吧？走，上车。哟，这怎么弄啊？哦，这儿这儿这儿这儿。哇，哎呦，我说呀，一时也有狗须兔子哈。哎呀，好。嚯！啊。啊。办事同根生，健健更健康。开路吧。
特卫普是比利时最大的港口城市，一百四十平方公里，人口四十八万，四级。等等等等等等会儿，你这进入角色也太快了吧？说让你给我们做导游，你还真悲惨啊！我读书的时候干过兼职导游，带的都是中国的。哦，勤工俭学啊！出国留学的不都是骗着家里的钱出来挥霍的败家子儿？更新一下眼界吧，哥哥。那罗导儿，您这是准备带我们去哪儿啊？这里最不缺的就是古建筑和博物馆，特别适合你们这些有知识、有文化、有素质的高端人士。这听着怎么都不像夸我们，你就当夸你听。哼，别了，我说罗导，你啊。所说的这些什么名胜古迹，游客们都去拍照那些地儿，谢谢您了啊！从这个导游名单里都给我们删除了。那您想去哪儿啊？你来这儿几年了？五年。哟，那老人了，五年可不算短了。那既然老人，你就得带我们看点真正老的地方。啊，一般游客去不到的地方。哼，事儿嘛。怎么说话呢？我告诉你啊，态度好一点，服务周到一点，我还是有可能去找你们经理把那封投诉信给要回来的。我还是有可能去说点好听的话的。嗯。嗯。好。既然各位都对古建筑和博物馆不感兴趣，那我们比利时还有三大特色：钻石、啤酒、巧克力，都是不错的选择啊！哟，钻石、啤酒、巧克力，这就是爱情三要素啊！甜蜜、苦涩、永恒的甜蜜和苦涩。哎，那就直接啤酒。哎，儿啊，我哪儿？直接去钻石店啊！然后再去啤酒馆。对，吃的喝的，再加上带的，你们俩干脆跟这儿直接领个证得了。行